Here we have the spray wall. Now it's time to set up this wall in the apps. What's up, real world climbers? We're here, we're doing the spray wall, episode two. Thanks for joining me again. If you haven't already seen episode one where we threw all these holds on, I'm gonna put a link up here in the corner. Go ahead and click on that, watch that video, then come right back here because in today's video we are setting up the apps. I picked three apps, three of what I've found to be the more popular ones for setting up spray wall and specifically for those that allow home walls as well. So there are some apps that are set up more for gyms and they actually charge the gyms for setting up their walls in the first place. They don't charge the users for you know, looking up routes and setting routes, but they charge the gyms. But the three apps we're gonna talk about today don't charge home wall owners for at least their first wall. The first wall is free. So the three apps we're gonna go over today are RetroFlash, Stoked, and Eat, Spray, Love. So the first step in the process is I gotta get a photo of this wall. And the better quality photo, the better, because on these apps you can usually zoom in and get really specific about the holds, and it will help other users to be able to see what style of hold it is as well. If you have a little bit of a predicament in taking a photo in my room is that it's hard to get far enough back to get the photo because my climbing area is literally a box, it's literally a room. And so for me to take a picture of this wall, I have to come way over here and I can only back up so far against the wall and it's hard to get all of the wall in one photo. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this tool, the camera on my cell phone, and I'm gonna try taking photos that way. I'm gonna take some backups on the camera that I'm shooting the video on right now. It's also a pretty nice camera for photography and see if I can get better angles, better quality. But either way, I do believe I'm going to need two photos and I'm going to probably have to splice them together. You, on the other hand, might not need to because you might have a vantage point where you can get back far enough and you can get the whole spray wall in one picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple photos and then jump over into the computer and splice them together. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure I can get as much from over here over to the transition wall that you've seen in previous videos. And ahead of me, I want to also see if I can catch a view of some of these holes that are around the right hand corner of the arret. And so it'd be great to have those in there as well because I do want them to be able to be used on the app as well. Including some of those holes even over on the left with the moon board. Maybe some of the you know rightmost holes on the moon board would be the leftmost holes available to my spray routes. So I'm trying to do all that in one photo. And then because of my vertical height, I can't really get the whole thing in. So I'm going to take a photo of the lower half and then a photo of the upper half. All right, so now I'm going to stop recording because I'm going to turn the camera into a photography camera, take a couple photos with this camera and then see which ones turn out best for the splicing in my computer. So now let's get out of the climbing room. Let's head inside to my office where I'll jump on the computer and splice these together. All right, here we are. So I'm just gonna take a look at them, maybe even side by side, zoomed in. So that's what this is looking like when it's zoomed in. So it's kind of, a little bit grainy, but you know, you can definitely tell kind of what some of these holds are. This is an example of the one off of my phone. This is the one off of my camera. Oh yeah. Let's see if I can do these side by side. So I think I'm gonna go with the set that's from my video camera. It's a little bit darker. It didn't pick up as much light, but I think the quality is much better. So I'm gonna use my video editing software unconventionally as a photo editing software. 
because I'll be able to do things like skew it and rotate it and things like that and try to line up the edges. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a generic project here. Some of you are probably Photoshop experts and things like that. And so you guys are probably awesome at this stuff, but I'm not. And so I'm going to make do with what I know. Look at that. Look at that blend. Okay. So the only real problem that I really see is this is showing an angle right here that doesn't really exist. I think that's going to be okay. They'll get the picture. Now I think I got those colors pretty lined up, so that's pretty good. So I'm going to say that this is a pretty good photo. It's a pretty good splice. Not perfect, but that's because of my camera angle. So I'm going to say this is good enough. And I'm going to grab this as a still and save it as a JPEG. There we go. That's going to be much better quality. Now if I zoom in on this, still got some good quality here. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I know that it's got this black stuff over here and a little bit here and it's a little bit skewed here, but I think people will get the picture that this is all one climbing wall. And I know there's a seam there, but I think it's good enough as far as a match for the types of holds and where they line up. So I think that looks pretty darn good right there. So I'm going to go ahead and crop that and save that. Whew, that was a lot. So now I'm gonna send that to myself through Google Drive onto my device here. And then I'll just go into each of the apps and I'll have access to the photo directly in my phone and set the apps up through the device itself. Editor Josh here. I just want to let you know that originally I was planning on having this be one video, but it would have been very, very long. So instead I'm going to be dividing this up into separate videos for developing the picture. And then each of the apps will get their own dedicated video. I'll release them all at the same time. And so you can watch them in series like you would if it was one long video. So that's how I did the setup of the photo. And in the next episode, you'll see me upload that into the actual apps. So click right here and you'll see the next episode, which will be about the Eat Spray Love app. If you're liking how things are going, make sure you click the subscribe button. And that way we'll see you in future videos.